we're back once more and we're going to do from inspiration to installation where we answer all of your most you know burning questions, questions. on how to get stuff done okay and today's question is from jane in michigan um is it possible to reuse my tinfoil armature when making a mosaic sculpture or any sculpture um for that matter so we say yes you can yeah, absolutely <laughs> um mosaic artists now i am not a mosaic artist i work with mosaic artists <laughs> i'll just say that there i am used to getting the cores made for them so typically a mosaic artist would grab say okay you know a pot or a styrofoam ball or something like that and they would yeah. coat the outside of that and you have to keep purchasing these things and you don't get a lot of variety what i'm encouraging people to do is make their own so sculpt something here sculpt something out of tinfoil right mm -hmm. but the important thing is you start with cardboard it's bilaterally symmetrical so you get pieces of cardboard they match and mm -hmm. then build this out with foil right so now you have a three-dimensional cool heart with a lot of detail so this is your own piece you do that twice and now you've got two which put together you now have a three-dimensional heart Mm. I can use this heart dozens of times. How? <laughs> <laughs> so, what you do first is glue it onto a cardboard sheet because yep. that allows you to handle it. Okay? Then get a piece of tin foil. Now, this is hot glued tin foil together. Yeah. Next sheet of tin foil, you put it on, don't glue it down, just drape it over and kind of press it around like so, right? And I forgot to say before, we like the heavy duty tin foil because it's just so much easier to work with um, than the yeah, this is, flimsy this is stuff. restaurant grade tin foil, absolutely. Yeah. So you get it all pressed down so you have the shape, then put a scratch coat of Peltai Premium right over the top of this. So it's gonna be about 3 16ths of an inch thick and put some a raked coat in it, okay? The next day, after you've let it cure, 24 hours, you can pop it off. So that looks like this. You've got a heart. It's been covered mm -hmm. with premium. You can see there's the tin foil. So this can pull off. When it pulls off, it looks like that. See? Yeah. Now I have a hollow heart. But most importantly, That's the same one I used. Yeah. So it goes on, I think it's like that. Yeah. See? It just pops off. Ta da! And nice. I can reuse that part dozens of times. And if you get both sides, now I have a Peltai Premium Hollow, extremely strong heart. And the last bit that's really cool. Get a piece of metal. Okay. A piece of metal like this. Mm hmm. Right, so I have cleaned the inside edge. We'll slather that up with Peltai Premium. Put a metal bracket in like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Slather the inside of this one, squish them together, and you now have a beautiful sculpture with a metal armature put in afterwards. Mm. Now, here's the best part of this technique. I know a mosaic artist who purchased a core, a mannequin, for a considerable yeah. sum of money. Mm. And she cased that in a gorgeous mosaic sculpture, and then, of course, lost the mannequin. Yeah. You can, if you cover that mannequin with tinfoil and you do a scratch coat on it that can be removed, you can reuse the mannequin dozens of times. You can reuse any core dozens of times 
you just have to make sure that those two sides of Paltine Premium pop off because you've coated it with tinfoil. Genius. Now, I have one question. Because in my head, I am not a fully fledged sculptor yet. Um, if it was something really large, how would you go about doing that same thing then? Would you have to have it lay down or how would that how would that work? Like how would you okay. get the really yeah. large? I mean, we're talking large a couple of feet. Um, mm. Okay, let's say this heart here is like three feet across. Yeah. You're gonna have to pound in grooves as additional supporting ribs. Yeah, so it's thicker. You're, you're not going to get away with that thing being 3 16th of an inch this big across. You're just yeah. not going to do that. So you might have to put on a scratch coat with ribs. Mm -hmm. And if it's this big, even, maybe even a second one. You're going to need yeah. to get that thing up to at least a half an inch if you want it to be self-supporting over a big piece. Yeah. But for things like smaller projects like that, that just would be so cool. And we've actually, yeah. we've got a video that actually shows you as well that we can link to the seahorse video that you did was very similar. It was the two sides that we then glued together with the Peltai Premium and we have the spike in it to have it stuck in the, in the middle of the, you know, garden, which looked really, really cool. Yeah. Um, awesome. I love this idea and it gives me lots of ideas. <laughs> I, can, I make a lot of these things. I now can make a ton. But my hope is that this is going to save somebody a lot of money. Excellent. Wow. Yep. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love how, how when people have made their first piece of Peltai um, premium sculptures and they like drop it or something and they're like, <gasps> and then they go over and there's just nothing on it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty strong. Um cool awesome so lots of ideas for this one um that you could take away and go and do and yeah. have fun and just keep replicating the same thing if you wanted to um and it's going to be exactly the same every time and then you can mosaic them all to your heart's content all different colors all different variations and even not just mosaic just any sculpture really you yeah. can do that so, with awesome. so this mm -hmm. becomes your core and it means that you can do assemblages take Take a snap off this. I mean, make a, a Paltai yeah. version of this and then make a Paltai version of that and then glue them together. Yeah. I mean, all of this is so you don't have to keep spending money. But most importantly, when you make your own cores, then you can build anything of any complexity. And I find that personally empowering. So go for it, man. Of course it is. Courses. Well, thank you for, for showing us that. And what we'll do is we'll drop um, a little video in at the end of this one of the whole process. So um, make sure you check that out and let us know what you think and tell us your ideas about what you might like to make in this um, similar vein. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to actually hand this over to a mosaic artist and I'm going to have her do this work for me because nice. I can make a core. Man, I'm a sculptor, but man, I leave the mosaics up to the people who actually know what they're doing because she's going to be experts. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you. Bye-bye. Hey.
forget Can you wrap this up so I can Jay, don't hit me, play, just hit restart Hear me, hear me out now. Do me a favor. Just. 